For a long time, we've been sharing the importance of organizing your content, especially as you know your library grows and it grows fast. If you're doing any type of online publishing, uh, you need to keep keep a handle on it. And we've ta talked about it. We've shared our own uh, organization systems, and people often ask if we could make a template that people could use. And I kind of hesitated because I think like it's kind of a personal thing, but I think I did come up with something finally that I can share with you guys. And I will kind of like walk you through it and give you really good ideas to ensure that you're leveraging it well in your business. I mean, anybody can make a spreadsheet, right? But let's talk about why it's all important as well. So if you look at this tool, we have a we have three tabs for you. Product funnel tracking, free offers tracking, and content tracking. So I put them in that order to encourage you that you know your product funnels are the most important thing. Obviously, you need the free offers to build the, uh, the audience, to sell those products, and the content also brings you that, but everything centers around your product funnels. So let's walk through the tabs and I will give you some ideas. So we have, you know, place to pick the name of the product, the sales platform, if you're not uh, always selling on your website, the sales page, um, the main offer download. So now this spreadsheet also helps you in that you can repurpose and reorganize, reuse all your content but it's also great for uh, customer support because when you know for us if we have a product we've created we've recorded all the entire funnel then our customer service person who says customer says I didn't get my download they can come and look at all this or they can you know a lot of people say oh I want to get the upsell uh, could I just have that link I wasn't able to get it then and the link you know the upsell page is here as well the upsell download page we also have the JV page because you know, for our affiliates so that again, we could share that at any time, the affiliate link format, because we use a platform that the links are the same. So the, instead of logging into an account and trying to find all this stuff, it's here. And also, of course, to keep track of the email list or tag that you put into your autoresponder, because that's, you know, as you continue to create more and more products, you're going to have a lot of lists or a lot of tags in your list that connect those people of those products. And you're going to lose track of what, who, are, who all that is. So it always helps. We actually have more complex funnels where we actually use a, a new tab for every single one. And there's so much stuff on the page because we treat peep track of every little piece and it gets referred to over and over again. I mean, you can mix up, you know, you can take upsell offers and put them onto something else, you know, re restructure it. If you're going to bundle products, uh, when we do bundles too, we probably, you know, you could actually add a tab for bundles as well. So, you know, because a lot of people, you know, we create these products, we have a launch, we sell a lot, and we move on to the next thing and we forget about it. But by having this at your fingertips where you can search for it, you'll be able to do no promotions, bring things back, and everything is organized for you that you are able to, 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 to do things with it. Um, then we have our free offers tracking, which could be free offers that people opt in for. It could be just a free download link like what you guys are going to get because I'm going to give you this template uh, that you can work with or you can create your own and you can obviously if you download this one, you can change it as much as you'd like for yourself. So here we keep track of like the name of the freebie, the sign up page, the thank you page, because if you've ever, you know, created a free offer and you you go and like, you're like, what was my thank you page? So you actually sign up for it yourself. I've done that before. It's better to just have it on the spreadsheet where you can grab it at any time. Also the download link because people will sign up and they say, I didn't get the download. There it is, easy for the customer service person or if you do your customer service person to get there. Also important here is the product it promotes because Obviously, when we are growing our list, we're creating very highly targeted free gifts that will lead to the sale of a potential product, right? So this is good to note because then when you relaunch a product or promote it again, you've got this freebie and you can search what is promoting my, you know, my gardening journal. Where, where I got to pick, pick that up. And of course, we also give affiliate links to our affiliates so that they can, you know, share something valuable and free. 
and then uh, get a commission for it when people sign up. And uh, also, you know, the email list or tag that's important here. Another thing I love doing too is that, you know, you create these free tool, free tools, but if you're, or free offers, and if you're, you know, creating products on a specific topic, a lot of these can be repurposed when you launch a new product. You know, people grab all these freebies and they forget about them, <laughs> and but they find them valuable, and by reintroducing it often to the people who may have already downloaded it in kind of a new context is useful to them, and you'll have new people on your list by the time you reuse it. So having this at your fingertips is very useful. And in the, like, we actually introduced this spreadsheet in a meeting yesterday with our Platinum Inner Circle, and <laughs> because it was a request of one of our members, and uh, Yusuf mentioned, too, like, how he, he, you know, when I introduced him into, like, keeping all this organized, and he would sometimes say to me, like, oh, do we really have to keep track of all this? I said, yes, we do. I use it all the time. And then he learned, too, also, because then he was asking questions. He couldn't find things. And I said, you better check the spreadsheet. <laughs> so it always helps, whether you're working by yourself, with a team, with a partner. Then we have the content tracking tab, and this could be your blog posts, this could be videos, this could also be, uh, you know, some social media content. I don't think you need to keep track of all your social media content, just the substantial stuff that you might use again. Or, it, you know, when it comes to making images or something that you, you publish, um, make sure you organize those well on your computer. Don't just make them in Canva, download them and forget about them. Make some organization that you can search your computer well for uh, all the images that you've made. But this is to, you know, cr uh, to keep track of the title of the, the content piece, the link where you published it, a category, a general category we like to put so that we know it's easy to find later and repurpose as well. And all our content, uh, especially on our website or on YouTube, you know, promotes is often geared around promoting a certain product. So that's listed here. Uh, we also give our affiliates links to the free content if it if it promotes a pub, pub product that they can make commissions from, and then maybe some publishing notes and ideas that would be helpful to you. So it's a very simple tool, as you can see, but it, hopefully with you know kind of this uh, advice going with it, it, it can be very useful to you that you'll be able to re organize it and work it for your business because reusing, repurposing your content is such, like you're sitting on a gold mine as you create all these content and products. Don't let it go to waste.